hello collective welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for your likes your comments your shares and subscribes i truly appreciate them all let you guys are stepping let's see what you guys need to know what y'all need to be aware of let's see what you need to know what y'all need to be aware of collective I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. What's the overall energy, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit? What is the message for the collective? <clears throat> okay, that's a lot. Okay, what's the overall energy, Holy Spirit? Okay, that, that's like it's right here. Time's up. It's judgment time. Something is in God's hands. Judgment. Happy times, a new beginning. So get ready. Happy times, a new beginning is coming for you. Somebody's been waiting for justice to be served. When it comes to someone that's been power hungry, it's like a high priestess and a high a higher fit in the upright been waiting for karmic justice to be served for somebody that's been in the reverse. Well, karma to happen for somebody that's been in the reverse. Okay, so I feel like that could be happening to somebody. A uh, higher fit in the reverse could be getting karma, and so is a high priestess in the reverse. And this is what uh, patience was needed, okay? Like for them to be caught up in their mess, okay? <sighs> and this is sad news. Sad news about a good match. Oh boy. Sad news about a good match for a rich lady. Love. Somebody might love the rich lady. Somebody feels very compatible. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Judgment. Okay. So we got an older gentleman here, a father figure. Time's up. Okay. Somebody could be winning money because they work together with the court system. Okay. To maybe bring something about for a rich lady. Maybe so a rich lady in a main male could come together somebody's getting a late a letter that a good lady could have gifted someone something hoping that they would get a return on their investment but there's it's sad news now that a courtship is here and somebody could be either a courtship is leading somebody to prison or Somebody that worked together with someone is going to prison. Somebody said because somebody could be going getting married now. So was somebody blocking you guys from moving forward in life or something? <sighs> it's like on both ends how I'm seeing it in my mind's eye. It's like on both ends. Um, some people was trying to stop two people from meeting or something, and it's too late. You guys met somebody or. You're, you're about to, okay? Or, yeah, this could even be for work. Work or love, you guys. So, time's up. Oh, thank you guys so much for the well wishes. I greatly appreciate it, but I can't do nothing about my allergies, y'all. I swear for peanuts. The pollen is so crazy, <laughs> and it's okay. Like, I'll be okay, I promise. I will be all right. I'm not, like, I'm still able to, you know, do what I do on a daily. I'm not, like, sick or anything. If that's what somebody, if you guys are worried, like, I'm not, I'm not sick, okay? It's simple allergies. Simple. It's okay, though. I'm going to be all right. But thank y'all so much for the well wishes and all the 
remedies and stuff like that. You know, you guys are so sweet. I love you guys. I just wanted to thank you guys so much. All right. So, <clears throat> let's see. What's the message for my collective? We got moving. Somebody could be changing residence. Get ready to be wined and dined, okay? Somebody could be changing residence or moving in with a partner. Somebody's trying to figure themselves out. Love spell. Hmm. Somebody's trying to figure themselves out. Maybe with a love spell. Else. date night get ready to be wined and dine give it time everything was in divine timing okay now time's up okay oh opening your heart to new love somebody could be opening their heart and moving on somebody's moving on opening their heart okay yeah and it's not challenging either something is, is smoothly it's going smoothly yeah, so something was short-lived for a narcissist here. Somebody thought that there was chemistry. They swore luck was on their side or something like that, but now something is up for review. They feel like they should have found out more information. Somebody could be spying on a fire sign and waiting because the fire sign was waiting for some sort of communication. But a cycle came to a complete end. All right, because somebody is being guided towards someone, I guess, vacation. They'll be traveling soon. So that means that there's health issues coming to a gold digger because it was the wrong time to do something. It was waiting for something to happen, but yeah, it didn't happen. Whatever somebody was waiting for, it didn't happen, y'all. Hmm. Okay, so somebody could have wanted to play a game with you and that backfired. <sighs> somebody feels like you're uninterested in them. All right. They're like, damn it. Somebody had it all planned out. How they was going to play something. It's like, uh... What's that show, y'all? Uh, let's is it make a deal? Let's make a deal, or um, when they pick the suitcases and then only wanted one suitcase got a million dollars, the rest of them like was like a dollar, five dollars, something like that. Somebody could have wanted you to pick the dollar suitcase, but you actually picked the million dollar one, something like that. In life, whatever this situation was somebody was hoping you chose wrong in the situation yeah see but you you picked right you rejected the toxic person this person could have been wanting you to be in an abusive toxic relationship with a drunk or something like that but you could have rejected this person yep so somebody's plans are foiled is how they see in it. It's like their plans are ruined. It's like you ruined the plan, collective. Somebody felt like you ruined the plan. <laughs> yeah. Somebody thought they would have a second chance at putting you in a toxic situation, but no. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody could live a double life for some of you guys. Somebody living a double life here knows that you have a new connection on the horizon. Challenges is in the reverse. It's not hard for you to work on inner healing or somebody. It's not hard for somebody to move on, to open their heart for somebody new or something like that. Somebody thought somebody would be in between about where they was moving or changing residence or somebody could be in between. It's like somebody moving, they're going to move in with their partner, what they going to do. 
like this is even like somebody breaking up with somebody like i don't know what you about to do but you can't live here so what you about to do you know because i'm moving on um with somebody new so i don't know where you gonna go but i'm moving on okay and you can't be here something like that <laughs> <sighs> Challenges, bad intentions. So to cause harm to another one or distress, they're scared now. Cause it wasn't hard, okay, for a situation. Somebody's having a lot of anxiety here. Somebody with bad intentions had a, is scared now. Cause somebody thought somebody would never get over somebody, but they did or something. I don't know. But yeah, heavy load. This is gonna be too hard. Somebody with bad intentions feels weighed down with responsibility. This person could be burnt out, feeling stuck under some sort of karmic control. Or that's what somebody wants this person to do to you. Burn you out and have you stuck under karmic control. It's heavy load. You rejected a toxic person. Yeah. That has been making fake accounts and spying on you. With a third party. Somebody wanted a second chance. So somebody tried to influence someone to string you along. But they can't do it no more. Cause, and so somebody feels like that. Somebody didn't really have all the facts about you. And they fucked up over you. Because they took this risk. Trying to play games to keep your attention. Somebody that has a corrupt heart. And that's dishonest. Want to talk now. Yeah, they could be, they could have received the message that somebody betrayed you. That's why somebody is out of money. And by you rejecting someone, you have the power over somebody that was GPS tracking you. That's heartbroken. Okay, something like that is going on. Hmm. So this means somebody's moving on or you are. Moving on from an abuse, abusive, manipulative, manipulative person. You've seen the red flags from somebody. Move on. Somebody can be abusive, manipulative, okay, and all that. Somebody's moving on. Somebody can be at their breaking point because you, they, you listen to somebody. You're listening to your intuition about someone that's living a double life. They were trying to confuse you. Being fake, pretending but was talking shit behind your back. Somebody got proof that somebody's playing a lot of mind games. A sweet talker can't even act a fool about your boundaries. Like, they can't even act crazy if you set boundaries. Somebody knows that. Abusive person here. Moving on from somebody that's abusive and manipulative. Don't ignore the red flags. Stand your ground, period, and set boundaries. Absolutely. Maybe you didn't ignore the red flags and you stood your ground and set boundaries and this person could be burnt out, feeling um, empty, mentally exhausted. Because that just means that a new connection is on the horizon. Let's see. Opening your heart to new love. So open your heart. It'll help you attract more love. You could be opening your heart and it's helping you attract more love. <sighs> yeah, and yes, you could be moving in silence. Somebody that's moving in silence is stopping bullying you. They have to stop bullying you now, maybe because of this love connection. Your intuition is guiding you the right direction with that GPS. Yeah, so somebody felt like it's too late. They got to stop bullying you. They know they got to stop doing something now because you opened your heart and you're moving in silence. So it's too late. It's too late here. All right. Because you're independent and free now. And this is like bringing anxiety to somebody. They scared. Because they could be financially struggling now. Or somebody going to be financially struggling. This is like, a, like if y'all was in a relationship with somebody or somebody was in a relationship with somebody. Um... They don't want to take care of that person no more. They want to move on. They want to be happy or something like that. So they're like, I don't know what you want to do, but you, you know, 
and somebody is opening their heart in silence and they move it in silence. They move it accordingly or something like that. Um, so somebody feel like it's too late now because this person is independent and they scared now. They worry. Why they worry? Because about a message that's really triggered them. Okay. A message triggered them. Whatever message this was, this person had an emotional outburst. Yeah. Not knowing how to control themselves. Somebody was waiting for the right time to betray somebody. Or somebody felt like, oh, you was just waiting to break up with me. Or you was waiting to, like, something like that could be going on. Get ready to be wine and dine. <sighs> Get ready to be wine and dine. Left hanging, yeah, because somebody is definitely not leaving you hanging at all. Because <laughs> they tired of somebody's shit. Enough is enough. Somebody's not leaving you hanging. All right, that's dead for that. That's over. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody's not leaving you hanging to play a game to keep your attention or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, they feel like that's too much. That's going to emotionally exhaust them or something. So they cutting ties with a sweet talker. They cut ties with a toxic, abusive person and they walking away because they lied about you or they lied about a situation. This person is heartbroken now for lying. Somebody want to talk now about how they chose to compete with you and be hot and cold and talk shit about you. So it seems like somebody's going to be confessing or something like that. Like, yeah, I, I chose to do that to them. Yeah, I did that on purpose or something like that. Yeah, so somebody like, nah, I'm good. Not today. We're not doing this. <sighs> somebody avoiding this person that's been competing with you. They could be financially struggling or several people financially struggle from this person competing with you. Okay. They cutting this person loose. They like, not today, man. I'm good. I'm not dealing with this. They are avoiding communicating with this person about this. Yeah. Somebody's choosing to move on and making another decision or something like that. So now somebody's trying to figure out what's happening. Where they're going to move. Somebody's avoiding a rival or something like that. Or avoiding being your rival or something like that as well. Mm. Someone's still trying to figure themselves out Sexuality They got proof or evidence About a trickster playing mind games Because they got proof That's why they try to figure something out A trickster was playing mind games They was tracking this person Or they was watching you So they got proof, valid proof Of this person With a corrupt heart that was competing with you yeah. So they like stop, not no more. They running now. So somebody, whatever the story somebody spun to somebody at one point, y'all, they starting to realize like this person lied the whole time. It was this person been competing with y'all or whatever this is. And they're trying to run away now. Yeah, because everybody feel betrayed. They're like, why the fuck would you bring us into some bullshit? Like, why would you lie like this? Why would you bring everybody into this mess? Because you competing with this person. Like, I thought you said that they did da 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 Yeah. People want answers at this time. <laughs> Did somebody want answers? They got proof this person was lying and they was competing with you. Okay. And somebody trying to figure out how they get proof. Yeah. They like how they get how did so they still try to figure out how did these people get proof that they was lying and they really was competing with you? A trickster that was playing mind games. Playing dirty, it say. Stringing people along. Okay? Having false hopes. Selfish intentions. That's so messed up. Somebody is so mad. They only did this because they knew they was maybe getting readings done, finding out. Somebody was coming towards you. A new connection. That's why they was doing all of this. Now, everybody having financial struggles that was doing this magic with them. 
stupid. Like, why would you do this? Like, <clears throat> because of this. Because whoever my collective is is about to be going off into the sunset with somebody brand new or something. And they don't like it. But that's none of their business. Mm -hmm. Oh, because they wanted a second chance. But if you hit in a new connection, they can't get a second chance. But that sounds like a personal again. So somebody could be changing residence or moving. What's going on? Moving and changing residence. Mixed feelings. Unsure. This person could be conflicted because this person was talking hella shit behind your back. They want to commit to somebody. So somebody could be moving and changing residence because they was talking hella shit about you. They got mixed feelings. Yeah, this person could be definitely having financial struggles. A sweet talker could be having financial struggles, Neil. That a new connection is on the horizon for you. And they feel stuck under karmic control. Because they got to stop doing something now. Because they really messed up now for being fake. Only wanting a second chance because you were dating and meeting new people. Somebody is starting to see that now. They listening to the intuition why you ghosted somebody or why somebody ghosted someone in the first place or something like that. You knew somebody was just trying to keep your attention so that you could be tied up or messed up or, yeah, like unavailable for something brand new or something like that. Okay? So somebody like, yeah, no, like... <laughs> Somebody feel like it's too late now because somebody opening their heart to somebody new or something like that. Eternal youth. Huh. Somebody see you as very youthful. Inside, vitality, newness. Somebody feels like whoever you are, the person that's held in high honor, gives very fresh energy or something like that. You give, you're given like newness, happiness, rejuvenation kind of energy. <laughs> whoever you are. Yeah. So this could even be like a new beginning for you, okay? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message? Like, okay. <laughs> is the message for the collective? So madness, erotic rituals, and energy release? Okay. What the hell? Somebody's craving someone's energy. They could have did something out of thirst. Somebody thirsty for somebody energy, sexual energy. All right. Yeah. Somebody is definitely wanting some sort of empathy. All right. Now that somebody got personal evidence, somebody got personal evidence of something and they want empathy and compassion. It's like, why are you guys being mean to me? Really? Like, after you did all this to this person, is you serious? People are very mad that somebody played them like this. Yeah, it's like somebody could be really good with reading the energy as well. Somebody like, your essence is so sweet. And somebody could see why somebody was so obsessed with you. Your very essence is good-mannered. You're very polite and thoughtful. 
somebody is seeing this about you. Like you have a very sweet energy, a very peaceful bliss, like something like that. Okay. <laughs> That's why these people was doing this to you. Somebody know that. <clears throat> But there's rules here when it comes to this. Huh. So it's even giving me an era of like. Uh, if somebody's like a part of a group and they really just on some low vibrational stuff. They know the rules not to do certain things. But like I said, I feel like. Uh, a gentleman that doesn't that doesn't follow the rules just made their own little side group or something and tried to break all the rules like they would never get caught. Okay. Yeah. They made their own little side, you know, thing here where they can influence people that are not seasoned or trained. Like those that have like problems with authority or rule breakers and stuff like that and train them up to be like monsters and like I'll cover for you, you know, this hard little dirty secret kind of energy. Like this is how we steal these people energy without letting you nobody knowing. Like, excuse me, something was against the rules, okay? Of their own commandments or their own religion or something. But this person has like a very big challenge that they need to heal. And it's a spreading condition. Whoever else work with them, you know, them and the people that they worked with. Like I said, you see the cross here behind them. So somebody could be very religious. They got this monster within that wants redemption now because they know they did wrong. By 2025, they're going to want redemption for real. Somebody, um, they could be a Cancer or a Leo, all right? Cancer or Leo season could be significant, but somebody going to want redemption because they know they was wrong. They went so far. It's like they lost themselves in obsession and you know, it's like, dude, we see how thirsty you are for this poor earth angel energy. Like, you're, 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 you're losing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going above and beyond to, like, steal from this, this polite person doing all types of rituals and, you know, just to get into your energy. Maybe it's like, maybe they use you guys as energy, like the earth angel energies or the high vibrational energies to manifest off. You know, maybe their most erotic rituals that they use, they need energy that's polite, you know, people that are thoughtful, you know, and how they steal the energy is by abusing that person, turning them to like crazy brains energy. And then they, you know, steal it. But through it all, somebody may didn't go crazy or something like that. You stood your ground and it was pointless. And this older gentleman should have known better. You know? And now they want mercy and redemption from the divine. You know? Or their group or their peers. My whole thing is why you do it in the first place. So somebody feel like they got to clean this shit up. Okay, that's what I'm hearing somebody say. Clean that shit up. So they're going to have to clean it up now, y'all. Whatever somebody did to y'all, uh, they're going to have to fix it. Somebody's getting a message that whatever somebody was saying was a bunch of lies and 
It's like, no, like, I just gotta, like, somebody could have did something to you, and they wanted a second chance to do it again. They just feel like they didn't to break you as hard as they could, like, or whoever was did it the last time didn't do it right. Like, you were supposed to be never getting up. You were supposed to be stuck under karmic control. That backfired or something. So when you got away or escaped or something like that, this is what I'm seeing. When you got away from this type of individual, maybe even moved, they tried to find a way like to crush you, okay? And they used all their resources and avenues, people, everything, because they was all down for the craziness as well. You know, like this is like, some stuff that they don't talk about, like, you know, if you even brought it up around their peers or something like that, they'll laugh at all, like, what are you crazy? They don't do that type of stuff. You know, they could ha act like they're the upstanding people with the the loving homes and the wives and the kids and the family guys, and but do some real dark, crazy shit behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Something like that, y'all. But nobody would ever know because of the people that they connected to. So we got the fates. Nothing good came from this curse. They created their own fate. Whatever happened is like... It only exposed everybody and everybody and everything. On this earth. Cursed earth. Wow. A earth curse? Huh. What is somebody bound to this realm for all eternity now or something? Earth curse. Oh. Nothing good came stare clear because nothing good could come from this. And the card says, uh, remember where you came from. I don't know why I'm feeling like that's deeper than just that, you know. Remember where you came from. That's why nothing good was going to come from it in the first place. That's why somebody was supposed to steer clear or something. That's how they created their own fate here on earth. Remember where you came from? It was a bad combination. Mother Earth. That's where you came from. What women? Woman? Okay. Somebody could be like, yo, like you remember where you came from? Like somebody could be taking it back to that, like that energy, y'all. Damn, this somebody like it's like how can you curse someone that gave you life energy? Or how can you do that to like uh somebody like this? Like, don't you have a soul? Like we came from women, got our name from a woman. I don't know why I'm hearing that song. Dear mama. Okay. Oh. Somebody might like uh, what's his name, Tupac? Remember 
even where you came from. That's why nothing good came good came out of that curse. Yeah. Because I'm hearing the part where he say, I wonder why we take from a woman, why we are rape our women, why we hate our women. Do we hate our women? That song, Dear Mama. Is that Dear Mama, Lady Sadie? Don't you know I love you, sweet Dear Mama? Yeah. I don't know, but that's off of the Machiavelli, I think, uh, album. So this been going, it's like, they wonder, so it's like, okay, so I don't know what kind of group this is. This might have a lot to do with like African-American men. All right. And it's like, these brothers have forgot where they came from. Like the way they was doing you is like, they hate women. Like, so back to that sexuality card, like somebody like what you, and you don't know what you want or, you know. Are you still trying to figure yourself out here? Because the thing that you did to this woman is out of control. That was above and beyond. Like, would you hate women? You know? Like, do you not know that if it wasn't for women, then, you know, we wouldn't be here? So, I mean, respect is due enough for that. And then even if this is like your child's like father energy, like, bro, like, she had your child. Like, that energy. Somebody on with somebody. Like, what are you doing? That kind of energy? I don't know, man. They thought when you would move out or that when you, if you was messed up, broke, busted, and disgusted, they would have you stuck under karmic control. And you have to stay with them and they will be able to abuse you again. That's the only reason why they were trying to knock you down or stop your money. So that they can play that, oh, that night, oh, I, I'm here for you so that you can come back and they get a second chance to really do you in. That's what they've been. That's what they've been hoping for. That's what. Well, uh, what sign was that? That's what they've been waiting for. But it never happened. Wow. So midnight, the most magical hour of them all. Somebody can be taking pride in and and doing something right. <sighs> Egg in a reverse. Boogeyman in a reverse. Obsession and mask. What else? Somebody gonna feel like this is like whatever is going to really change. It's like it's this. It's going to be like damn. Like did that really happen? Like energy. Your new chapter is going to be so beautiful. What's the message here? We got warrior in the reverse. If you can't beat them, join them. We got ice. Something in the reverse. So I don't know, y'all. <sighs> What's the ice? So that's why somebody like I'm so sorry or saying that to the men. They like you you need to say sorry to that woman. You don't gotta say sorry to me, then you weird. Exactly. This card say, who can you really trust? Keep cool and stay solo. Because they can't believe this person did all this lying about you just so that they can do you in again. After you healed and, and grew and evolved, all they cared about was putting you in a position where you'll be stuck under their control. A narcissist 
that is a tyrant that hate women control. Damn. So somebody, these is people they trusted that you supposed to be my, like, wow, like, I ain't never think so-and-so was like that, you know? So it's kind of like the embarrassment at this point. Like, somebody's really embarrassed collective. Because people really was believing, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, whoever this older gentleman is was, like, maybe a little upstanding. You know, I don't know, man. Now they questioning this person's, you know, what they into. That's wild. Child, listen. Hands up, y'all. But somebody... Maybe that's why somebody broke up with someone or moved. Now they, because now somebody got mixed feelings because of what they really found out about. <laughs> somebody like, I don't know, man. Like, I thought it was because so-and-so ain't had no money. No, nah, this sweet talker just wanted somebody under their control. Like, I thought that, you know, like it would be like a, you know, like, oh, they just ain't want somebody to have money or, no, nah, this person really wanted to do something to somebody. And they was helping. They like, yo, I don't get down like that. Like, <laughs> I'm not into that. I thought, you know, <sighs> they like, who the fuck can you really trust at this point? If you can't beat them, join them. We got the mask here. Beware of misdirection. The signs are there to be seen. Wow. They should have seen or noticed how obsessed this person was with being the boogeyman in somebody's life. That was the signs that these people should have paid attention to. Like, y'all never thought it was strange for this man to be like this towards this lady? I mean, and making up like constant, oh, like how many years has been going on? You know what I mean? Like, there's something else going on there. It was something deeper. Somebody's starting to realize this, and they like, yo, so-and-so been misleading us for a long time, like, making fake promises, very obsessed. Yeah, but this was all by their design. Like, somebody is, is a, has a, like, a psychopathic mindset, okay, is what I'm getting, y'all. Very psychopathic mindset. I don't know. <sighs> Dial it down. Hype usually leads to disappointment. It's like I brought you here five cylinders underground because I love you. That's not love. Somebody like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, somebody, they, a lot of people are re, re I guess, questioning themselves now. Yeah, they like escape and avoid for now. Somebody's escaping and getting the fuck out of Dodge. They're avoiding somebody, a situation, a place, or whatever. <clears throat> they know it's over. Even people that may have known. Like, because all of them wasn't, like, oblivious to what this person was doing. It was some people, they, they just wanted to see it happen, you know, because they just as dark as them type of energy. You know? Yeah. Because... Somebody uh, wanted someone to be living in fear to limit y'all potential in life. Like, if you're to be too afraid to get in another relationship, too afraid. Like, if they say, say this person, like I said, is around a slew shit of over 100 men. Okay. They, all right, this is what we going to do. And, who, and this person allegedly must have been the person that's like, you know, they listen to or something or somebody that they look up to or something and they like look i need you do this for me i need you that da -da 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 -da, promise them some cool shit and they on it or even no promise just a you know brown nose you know what i'm saying and it's like taunting you you know the 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 the, the, the tactics was to leave you hanging string you along uh break your heart type of energy 
As soon as you open your heart to be feel like it's safe to love another person, this is what this person was doing. They wanted making fake accounts, pretending to be new people. Like, yo, let me get your picture. I got like 40 accounts. I'm a I'm gonna I'm gonna request them from all of these accounts all at the same time and pretend to be different people. That is crazy. Okay. But this is what somebody was doing with people that knew what the situation was. And was okay with robbing, hurting, stealing, and, and and maybe even really hurting somebody. Like, that's an innocent, good-mannered person. Like, shit crazy. Somebody like, yeah, I, I ain't signed up for that. I ain't know you was like, <laughs> like, no. Somebody like, nah, I'm not, they not okay with that. Somebody was not okay with that. They're not okay with that, y'all. Thank God, okay? Now that somebody got proof of what's really going on, somebody's not okay with that. They're not. Can't make it up. Somebody's not okay with that. You just holding a grudge because somebody grew? They got the inside scoop. Why this person was holding a grudge against you? Like, What? Like, she didn't let me break her all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch had the nerve to get up and go heal after I destroyed her. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's how this person was coming. <laughs> People like, what? Nigga, is this motherfucker okay? They like, oh, no. This shit played out. We done. We're done here. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Somebody's done here. Okay. Yeah, they're done with a girl fight. They're done with somebody. <sighs> Child, they're done with this. Somebody's done. So somebody's just, they feel like everybody's separating. Maybe something is breaking up. It's safer being alone because at this point, they really can't trust each other right now because something else could be going on. They got legal issues or some old shit that they was into. I don't even know. Shit. What is this? I ain't in a reverse. Somebody like, look, I'm going to just go solo. I'm out. I don't want no parts of this. I ain't in a reverse. Yeah, exactly. Because now somebody that was making fake profiles and the people they travel with, they all seeing somebody as a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person has a bad reputation now for making fake accounts and stalking somebody because you... Hit the, hit the jackpot or something like that. And this person been clout hungry ever since. Being an obsessive lover strategically planning against you. Somebody got evidence and proof of this. <sighs> yeah, somebody doing did something here. Being a wolf in sheep's clothing. They feel like they should have did it by themselves. Nobody would have known how diabolical they was being energy. Yeah, this is wild. This person has a bad reputation. Instead, now people are seeing them as a wolf in sheep's clothing that has a bad reputation. Yep. For threatening somebody. Damn, this person could have even went and threatened the person that they was getting readings done with or... Something like that. They could have threatened somebody because they're broke now for cyberbullying them and everybody running. This is wild. Yeah, this is like getting in business or doing something with somebody that was just gone. Like, if you thought what you thought he was going to do to you if this never worked out, like, it's that energy. Now. It's like, well, if, if that reader never told me if this person got a personal from somebody. They like they never would have said that I wouldn't have did all of this. Like anything to blame somebody else, you know, that type of energy. They shouldn't have never been holding a grudge against you. They got a bad reputation here and they blaming it on the reader now. Whoever this a uh, person that was abusing readings, like as far as doing readings to see like what they doing now. Like as they was keeping tabs on you with this person and they blaming them for being broke now. Divination abuser. They have a bad reputation. It could be a male that reads tarot as well for some of y'all. But this person has a bad reputation for abusing tarot now or something. 
because it was a waste of time. Wasted time and limited. Wasted time and limited in a reverse and we got haunted. Maybe somebody pulling out information about somebody that was creeping on somebody that was too busy winning. They could have got a reading done. And this person was just talking shit about you because you hit the jackpot and rejected them after they rejected you. Excuse me. You did really good. It's like becoming a star or famous or something like that after somebody tried to play you or something like that. And then they like, oh, no, you're not about to be famous. Like, what? <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them. Somebody's uninterested. Yeah, uninterested in making any offers with a groupie. They stressed because somebody is unbothered. You're unbothered. Somebody stressed because somebody wanted you back because you hit the jackpot. And they're not. It's not happening. This person can have legal issues now. Somebody is uninterested in an offer that a groupie gave or something like that. Somebody got leave these groupies got legal issues and they all stressed. Because they shouldn't have trusted that person. They got misled with the mask. <clears throat> they were misled. What was they misled on, y'all? They was misled. Fishing for comments. They found out this person, you're like irritated, they demons. Somebody was being misled by a thief in a love affair, romantic love affair, or being misled by a thief somebody had a romantic love affair with. They got rejected when it came to a third party. You could have rejected this thief. And that's why you're not bankrupt. That's why you're not fucked up. And this happiness hater married for money and then started looking you up. And they got proof. This person been trying to steal your ideas, creeping on you, or some strange shit. This person moved on and still tried to stab you in your back and all of this. They try to steal from you because somebody know you're not bankrupt. And the person that found this out was somebody they had a romantic love affair with that they was fishing for comments. And they found out this person misled them. Let's just say it. Obsession in the reverse. <clears throat> Somebody definitely was obsessed with cop blocking you. They got proof of that. This person kept looking you up, trying to dig up dirt on the Queen Rising. And all they could find is you doing really good. And this person started doing the most and moving in silence, trying to make dirty offers with a boss daddy to threaten somebody. All right. Or now boss daddy is threatening somebody because somebody could be broke now or something. <clears throat> this person is no longer going to be obsessed with looking you up, trying to dig up dirt on this queen rising. Boogie man in the reverse. Yeah, they can't. Your light irritate they demons. Yeah, your light irritated they demons so bad that they wanted to threaten anybody that was into you and force you into a love triangle. Are you kidding me? Who the fuck is this person? We got threatened and intimidated. Oh my god. Maybe they was very threatened because people are into you or something. Threatened. And your life irritate the demons. Hustling, marrying for money. Somebody can't ignore the fact that they can't dust that off. That they did all of this out of their ego. Stalk and then stalked you. Why would you marry for money? <laughs> they could have married for money out of a hustle energy, like not love. You know, I'm gonna get this money by tomorrow with this marriage. <sighs> and then stalk the Queen Rising or some shit. That's wild. Egg in a reverse. Fake flexing. Yeah, this person is definitely fake flexing. They got proof that you dodged a bullet from this person, literally. This person is carless and stressed now. Is you dodging bullets or something like that from them? From these negative people? Yeah. 
This person could be got their car repo. Somebody is a broke ass. Yeah, yeah, see? Somebody got proof that this person has been an obsessive, like a thorn in your side, obsessive lover. All right, that's a broke ass. That's been stalking you. This broke ass person been stalking you. All right. Yeah, because you block negative energy from this person and you've been unbothered. This is like freaking somebody out. You being unbothered and they freaking out and they don't have money or something like that. <sighs> Child, let me clean all of this up, y'all. Mm -mm, y'all, let's see. <sighs> so we got divine intervention when it comes to this person being a part of a secret society or organization or a covenant is in a reverse for this woman practitioner. Maybe they are kicking her, kicking them out of a, a group. Somebody don't want somebody in the group no more. Somebody is a, cro a crooked boss or a co-worker lost everything for coming for you every day. Yeah. Maybe it's like one person. It's like. They had a lot of people, y'all. Every day, somebody is losing stuff because of this person. One after another in this group, this organization, or a coven. Because of this woman practitioner, or something like that, y'all. For what they was doing a week ago in the fall. This could be a, to a new neighbor. Or this is a new neighbor that is pissed, man. Like, why the fuck would he even work with her? Or he mad, y'all. Also, it's like these people wanted your energy so bad, they went above and beyond the rules here. And it's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? She mad, he mad, both of them mad. See? Somebody could be a doctor, CNA, RN, or anything to do with the medical field. They could be scared of y'all in real life. M. H. Is a Hebrew Israelite. Okay, maybe they have problems with their children or something. We got Aries have a dark attachment. Somebody has a dark attachment to them. A Caucasian man or a woman in a seven day of Venice. They ancestors told them to back off, but they didn't want to listen. That somebody had a dark attachment. They like don't work with this person. They got a dark attachment to them. A Gemini knows that you're having a new beginning moving forward. And somebody that has mental ill, they got maybe somebody, whoa, could have got mental illness from this dream magic they was doing on you because you was protected. We got Wednesday. If you're reading this, it's too late. So my grandma, they could be salty as fuck that people were jealous of you like this. Somebody cousin, destiny wasn't safe or they said it wasn't five years ago. <clears throat> yeah, this warfare is over. The divine being is free of all sickness and disease. So it is. Why? We got a daughter, G, co-worker. Oh, your children love you very much 10 years ago. So my aunt knows that Sunday. Somebody could be Jamaican, Haitian, Trinidadian. Uh, they know that no harm was going to come to you. Somebody got a silver, tan, brown, burgundy, purple, gold, or turquoise, or white card. They knew that. A male practitioner. My goodness. They lied to them about everything. A Taurus. Ex-lover. Scorpio. B. You made the right choice. A crooked landlord with a corrupt heart lost everything for coming for you. A Pisces and a Leo and a Cancer and a Virgo. My God. All four of them regret working against you for chump change. Because they, they see you moving past all the obstacles. And somebody still rather be with you. Somebody baby, the baby mom. Okay. Or somebody rather be with their baby mom. The uh, attempted robbery. 
thing backfired. So somebody knows you can expect positive changes two weeks ago. <clears throat> somebody knew things was going to work out for you. The message. A truck driver knows you're single. A Jehovah's Witness and a Russian man. Aquarius. A Russian man or a woman. An old neighbor could be significant. They curse themselves when they tried to curse you. A stalker. <clears throat> Somebody that was stalking you, say any day, they know they messed up bad. They know something bad gonna happen any day now or something. An old neighbor could be significant. Everything is backfiring on them and anyone who worked with them. R, she walked away from a karmic and they no longer will be stalking you. God is proud about how strong you have been at this time when this situation, situation been going on. We got T. We got low vibrational energy. Vampire knew that you are protected from all evil. This could be an ex friend that knew you was an earth angel light worker. F. He no longer wants revenge on you. What else? Hey, first say it's the middle initial, yours and theirs. L. First say it's the middle initial, yours and theirs. J. Somebody's son. K. He no longer want revenge on somebody on Saturday. Somebody that's an Islamic man or a woman could be somebody's niece. And nobody is believing their lies anymore. Whatever they said about you in the summertime about somebody's mom or to their mom about you, somebody not believing that shit no more. All right. So maybe they had to make up some crazy story to even get people to work against you, y'all. Like, and had the whole family and other people in on it. Like, just very mean. Listen, I hope this helps.